Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to an extra video this week. And so today is Thursday and I am happy to be here with you because we are going to do something special today. And uh, first we're gonna make a card and I'm gonna use a new bundle that I, I just received and then I'm going to do something special at the end. So hang in there, okay? So let's get started today. Okay, so the uh, bundle that I'm going to be using today is Hooray for Surprises. So this stamp set is a photopolymer set, has 16 stamps in it, lots of different sentiments, a little cake, cute heart, and uh, the daisy. And the fun thing is, is that the dies, so there are 12 dies, and the dies actually uh, do... Uh, have a little surprise to them. And so today we are going to stamp and use these dies on a card and I'm gonna make a gift card holder. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna be using Flowering Zinnias as my, car, as my designer series paper. So I have some strips cut for that. Okay, so this paper is, mm, so cute. It's sold on the online exclusives uh, on my online store. So you can only get them by looking online. Okay. Flowering Zinnias is a 12 by 12 designer series paper, uh, 12 sheets, six different designs. Flip them over, you get six, another, six more designs. So that's awesome paper. Okay. I'm going to be using one of the coordinating colors, which is Lemon Lime Twist. And this is going to be my cardstock base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I'm just gonna fold this in half. And then I'm going to adhere these strips. So these are one inch. You can make them even a little smaller if you wanted. One inch by five and a half inches. Okay, so I'm just gonna adhere this to my card. Just all the way to the top. And all the way at the bottom. And I love the little polka dot also. So that's uh, pretty in, uh, not pretty in pink, um, petal pink polka dots on the other side. Okay, so we have that part of our card done. Pretty simple. Okay, and then this little piece is gonna go on the inside as a, just an extra design. Then I have this piece, okay. And um, before I adhere this to my card, I am going to do a little die cutting. And the one die cut that I'm going to use is this one. Okay, so I'm going to die cut this, the very bottom of this piece of designer series paper. And I have my mini cut and boss right here, my Pee Wee, and this fits nicely in here. So I'm just gonna put this down, and all the way to the bottom, centered. can see how this die works. This is a little different than most of our dies, okay? It actually is a pull strip. So when you cut it out, it's not going to release until you pull it, all right? So what I wanna do now is do a little stamping. And we have these little pull, uh, this little pull. I wanna stamp that first, okay, so. block. I'm just going to use Berry Burst. So the two colors that I chose for this card are Berry Burst and Melon Mambo because these two flowers, these two daisies, zinnias, not daisies, zinnias, have um, those colors in them. So right here, just so that the person who gets this card will know what to do when they see it. Okay have that ready. Okay, so that is ready. Now I have another little piece of, of uh, cardstock that I'm going to layer on top of this. And um, this is actually, you're going to ask me the size, right? Um, let's measure this. 
This is two and a quarter, two and an eighth by five. Two and an eighth by five. And what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna use the, the daisy from the stamp set and I'm gonna stamp some of these. More fit on there, not too good. Let's use a bigger block. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp Melon Mambo. See how this looks. I'm gonna stamp Melon Mambo. One, two, three times. Okay, then I'm gonna clean my stamp. I probably wouldn't have to clean my stamp because I'm going to a darker uh, color in the same shade, but I am gonna clean it because, you know. And now I am just going to rotate this a little bit and I'm gonna stamp the Berry Burst. Trying to rotate these so that those other, there we go. Ooh, it's really bright, but I like it. Okay, so we have that done. Now, what I'm gonna do is close these stamp pads and I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card, just like right there. Okay, not covering up this pull strip, okay? So now what I wanna do is I'm going to use these foam adhesive strips, and if you haven't used these on a shaker card or any card like this, you're going to be amazed how good these work. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put these all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. I'm going to put one here. Over here and one up here okay and then another one down here at the bottom below that pull strip okay all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pull off three of these. And you can pull off any three that you want. I'm going to pull off this one, this one, and this one. Okay, leaving the top one with the paper on it still. Okay, so now I am going to attach this to my card. Oops, not upside down. And I'm just going to center it like that, okay. And then I have my gift card and I'm gonna slide my gift card inside, okay. And it will slide in, should slide all the way in till it hits that, that bottom piece. And if you want, you can leave the, um, you can leave this until you actually want to slide the gift card in, you can leave that in uh, uh, non-pulled, okay? So, but I'm gonna go ahead and, now that I have that slipped inside, I'm gonna pull that away, and I'm gonna stick that down. Okay, so I have that ready, all right? So now what I wanna do is look at my sentiments and I wanna see what sentiment I wanna say. Hooray, can't wait to see you, make a wish. You're the best, hope your birthday's wonderful. You are simply amazing. Um, sending you uh, lots of love. I think I'm gonna use the, I'm really liking this, you are simply amazing. Hmm, but make a wish is cute too. I think I'm gonna do make a wish. So I'm just gonna stamp, make a wish. 
and I think I'm going to use a different color. I think I'm going to use Lemon Lime Twist. And I want to stamp this just on um, white cardstock. Hmm, got a little dot on there from something. Hang on a second, let's do that again. There, that's better. I wasn't crazy about that little dot of ink there. Now I'm gonna punch that out and I'm gonna use the, um, let's see, which punch? I'm gonna use this punch. I'm gonna use the labeled with love punch. Okay. And I do want that a little bit smaller, I think, so I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to pull this through, and I'm going to punch that again. So you see I punched off a piece of that. I'm going to do it on the other side also. Just pull it through your punch, and then you can shorten your, your punch. Okay, so then these extra pieces that were on the ends will punch away. Does that make sense? I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Okay. So let's add this to our card. Because it had a lot of uh, these bright colors. Melon Mambo and Berry Burst. So I think if I put this in the center, it'll kind of break that up. Okay. Now on the inside, I am going to put that little strip, that extra strip of designer series paper, just right down here at the bottom. Okay, so there is my finished card. Now, how does this work, you're wondering? I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to show you. When you pull this, the gift card is inside and they can get the gift card out. Okay, so there you go. That is how that die works and I am in love with it. It's so different and unique. Okay, now we are gonna do one other thing today. As I promised at the end of the video, I am going to do my drawing for In It To Win It. So this is all of these squares filled. We've been working on this uh, since like the end of February. So all of the squares are filled. Everybody that placed a $50 order got to pick a square of their choice until the grid filled. And so now we are going to do the drawing. And as you know, I use my little bingo game. And I always check these to make sure all 50 numbers are in here. I did check them. I took out numbers 51 to 75 because that's how you play bingo. But I'm excited because we're going to pick a number. And the winner is this number right here. I-18. I-18 is Jen Johnson. You are the winner. And what did Jen win today? Jen won this exact uh, bundle that I just used. Hooray for surprises. Jen, I know you're going to love this because this is right up your alley. You love different unique things. And this has the dies and the stamp set, just like my set that I just used. So, Thank you so much for watching today and also for being um, a customer and actually um, getting your name on the grid. I appreciate you and I am so happy, Jen, you won. And I will be sending you this bundle. Um, I know you're local, but I probably, I don't see you that often, so I'll probably send that to you in the mail. So thanks for watching today. I'm gonna put this up so I can say thank you in person. Thank you, Jen, for watching, for, for playing, and for being a customer. Thank you all and everybody who is my customer. I appreciate you. Thanks so much, and I will see you tomorrow on a video.